Welcome to the Department of Electrical Communication Engineering at the Indian Institute of Science. With regard to research, uh, the areas of uh, prominence in communication related topics including RF microwave engineering, photonics, electronics devices, signal processing, communication and uh, nowadays uh, machine learning have been uh, covered among the research topics of this department. Doing your masters from IIC opens many doors for you. If you got, want to go for industry, all the big companies visit campus for placements. If you want to go for academia, you get loads of opportunity to go for higher studies. IIC is the top ranked university in India. I was extremely excited to join this institute given the rich heritage and um, the scientific achievements that come with this institute. So IIC being one of the most premier institutes in our country, it is well known for its diversified research. I got to learn from the most experienced faculty who helped me in moulding the career and catalyze the progression. EC offers a lot of flexibility in your coursework and project. So even if you come here and then you decide you want to work on something else, you can tailor your courses and project accordingly. I am from the DRDO and I am looking for uh, upgrading my skill set uh, uh, in the recent technologies in communication. So the Department of EC is working on the 5G technologies and beyond. After coming here, I feel like there is much more, uh, much more for IAC to offer than just academics or arts or sports. And I think there is a collaborative nature among the students here in IAC. IAC gave a good exposure uh, to the technologies and made me more confident to towards approaching the problems. It has changed my perspective of solving a problem. Classrooms are very interactive in the sense that the professors always encourage us to ask doubts and queries. The peer support that we get is uh, very much great and we constantly help and support each other in terms of academics as well as all other facets of life. And uh, there is a real sense of friendship among us. So even if you ask a simple question, the professors try to answer your uh, question. One good thing is in the class, they not only teach from textbooks which were written some 30 years or 40 years ago, they, they teach from uh, the current IEEE publications, uh, the cutting edge technologies, and even they teach on what they are working currently in their lab. The classrooms are very interactive because whenever a topic comes in, the professor will dive, uh, deep dive into the history and will make each and every student more interested and involved into the topic. So, coursework at IIC is a little bit hectic and uh, there are assignments, there are quizzes that is happening every uh, two weeks or three weeks uh, gap. But the thing is that the course is structured in such a way that even if you uh, started trying, uh, even if you feel it, it is hectic, you can actually uh, do learn a lot more than um, by these assignments and quizzes and all. ISC, EC department uh, designed a coursework such a way like if you don't know anything, you just need basics. By that, uh, by their assignments, you can cope up with all the things. In the coursework at EC and other places at ISC. Um, we primarily teach the fundamentals, right? The basic uh, cornerstones of uh, of the work. But uh, the students are also exposed to uh, the cutting edge research. And uh, as you can uh, imagine, that uh, most deep tech startups today would have an intellectual property differentiator, right? And some of that comes from the research that we do in the department and at ISC. You get to work on the practical problems with a practical approach. It's not day-to-day -day classes that you, you just sit and get back and then uh, sleep over it. The coursework and the course project as well as the MTech main project. So everything are designed at IIC such a, such a way that they will have direct impact on the industry requirement and which will help in kickstart uh, the career corporate career as well. So the initial uh uh, courses will be based on the complete math related courses, matrix theory, probability and optimization techniques. And uh, next level courses will be all applications on the core technologies. There are three mandatory courses uh, out of 12 courses. Uh, 
so in the remaining nine courses you have a lot of freedom to choose uh, there are uh, various uh, disciplines where you can select your courses and we also have a communication laboratory uh, in the second semester uh, in which you will get hands on experience on what you learnt in your first semester and the overall course structure is really nice we can take all the courses we can take any courses from any department as our electives apart from the core courses that we have When students join IASC, they typically join under one of three programs. One is the, the first is the M.Tech uh, course program, the second is the M.Tech research program, and the third is the Ph.D. program. Um, as the name suggests, the M.Tech course program is primarily coursework oriented, but at the end of the coursework, there is a one-year project that the students will have to do. And this project is actually a very significant project that students engage in, and I think this is one of the things that uh, significantly distinguishes IISC's master's degrees from uh, typical other master's degrees. I wanted to pursue PhD, but rather than directly joining PhD, I wanted to have a field of research. MTech research degree is like a mini PhD degree, so you will have all the flavors of research, but we do have all the opportunities for campus placement also. In EC uh, course, they have modified uh, it like uh, you can uh, t select any course from microelectronics department or uh, from AI or from SP. Uh, so basically, you will have uh, many scientific hats on your head uh, to start with. And after completing the coursework, you have to join a lab and you have to undertake some literature survey. There, you may come upon a, come upon some topic and. Uh, you are supposed to advance the topic or that may result in a publication. Well, MTech online program is for anyone who has uh, the, the dream of pursuing their academic goal into uh, academic, um, in, into masters, but, but somehow left on it uh, because of uh, the, the industry pressure. But uh, once you join the MTech online program, you get to uh, work with the uh, uh, with your with your company at the same time and then pursue your academic goal as a uh, MTech student. Did my internship with Airtel Network R&D Bangalore and my manager asked me to work on a vast area of 5G physical layer. So I was a bit worried but eventually uh, I realized that it was easy for me because I was familiar with all the uh, technologies and concepts involved from by doing work in my project. I don't think that internship is uh, very much necessary to get placed. Uh, you can uh, always choose to spend your summer with uh, on, on the project uh, with your guide. Uh, this will also help you in the placement process actually. If your project is interesting and you are uh, working uh, in that project uh, very seriously then this will also uh, they will also take this thing into account the duration of internship will be around uh, 2 to 3 months so it can give exposure about what is going on in the industry you can decide on which domain to pursue based on your internship experience as well Once you complete your master's from ISC, even before you complete your master's from ISC, you get to pursue your internships in the world-class labs in corporate uh, industry as well. And once you're done, you can pursue your uh, professional career in some uh, lab laboratories, world-class labs, and then corporate industries as well. This uh, uh, program offers us a large number of opportunities uh, depending on our interests, like if you want uh, at the end of this master's pro program, you'll be very much um, like sure and confident and have that much of trust upon yourself that you can do, we, you can go anywhere, any, anywhere around the world, whether you, want, uh, you are, uh, want to do a job, whether you want to go for higher studies, you, uh, there will be no bounds. So after doing MTech, uh, you have many opportunities like you have, you can go for uh, placement in your core branch, uh, you can uh, do uh, you know, higher studies like in, you can go for PhD, you can have any other course after MTech. The IAC has a very rich placement culture and the students uh, here are working on the projects which are current hot topics in the industry. We are also having very good uh, alumni network who are all spread over across all the industries like Qualcomm, Samsung, Geo, uh, Airtel, even uh, Micron and all. So whenever a new opening comes up, they will keep updating with us. In ISC, there is an entity called uh, SID, right? Uh, they 
um, support the faculty entrepreneurship, they support student entrepreneurship uh, and uh, you know uh, EC department for example has a very um, rich history of, of startups uh, starting with S cube and, and others. Uh, so SID not only provides uh, you know uh, the uh, place for the students to go and find out how to set these um, set the startup up but also in many cases funding, um, in majority of the cases connect to the Bangalore ecosystem, the venture capitalists and so on, right? And uh, so it's, you know, it, it, the system is very well set up for anybody who is willing to pursue entrepreneurship. MTech uh, program uh, students usually uh, are placed in uh, top companies through our placement office. Placements for a master student from uh, EC department are among the best in the country. Like there is lot of misconception that if you are from ISC, uh, ISC is a research institute and there are not so good placement opportunities. But that is wrong. You just need to keep an open mind. Come here, complete your academic requirement properly and you will be able to leave the place with multiple offers. Yeah, I can say that uh, if you are interested in campusing, you have to select a work, like a topic of your future work. Accordingly, you have to take courses. You have to balance the coursework and research work. Many of the big giants uh, in communication industry, they visit the campus uh, for placements and also offer a pretty good, pretty decent uh, package. According to last year or uh, previous years, like almost all students get placement in good companies and uh, it is very easy to grab 30 plus LPA package from here. So here at ISC we focus mainly on learning skills rather than uh, other than worrying about any other placement. Before joining in ISC, I was expecting that I will get a deep understanding of the subject uh, and a good interaction with the professors and my seniors. And in MTech, the most important thing is uh, the project. So I was expecting to work in the area of analog or RF design. All the labs and uh, you know uh, projects are uh, industry oriented. So in that also, IC has met all my expectations. I think a lot of people don't know uh, about this in IAC. There are a lot of sports and cultural activities going on. There is clubs for almost everything, I think, here. There is a drama club, there is a poetry club, there is everything. And uh, we also celebrate a lot of festivals from different cultures. Uh, so it is very much rich here. So every year IIC conducts an annual sports event called Spectrum where all the departments come together and participate in more than 30 events. Besides the studies, IIC uh, is having very rich flora and fauna uh, which brings us fresh air and keeps up with a good spirit. One has a flexibility to study anywhere in the campus and uh, cultural activities will be taking every now and then which will keep equilibrium with the work life and also the mess food. Uh, it is second to none. Uh, it gives a homely feeling when we eat in the mess food. I must say this about ISC is that people here at ISC are really respectful of each other regardless of your gender, culture or your profession. And I am in really awe of the seniors and professors who really helped me during my both offline and online modes of classes. And I really believe that uh, ISC is really worth of every hype that it gets. And if you ever get a chance to be in ISC, don't miss it.